Well, last, uh, last week I sent out a message on Sabbath and the importance of Sabbath and I was thinking about summer and what summer is like and a lot of people, myself including, often have a summer reading list and so I'm going to recommend to you some books that I have found really, really helpful and there's a range of them um, that, that I would like to recommend. Some of them are uh, fiction, uh, a few of them are nonfiction um, for different kinds of things. So the first thing I want to recommend is my favorite novel of all time, Watership Down. And you might say, isn't that about rabbits? And yes, it is. Um, but it's about rabbits and it's about leadership and it's about courage and it's about um, finding compromises and it's about it's about repentance in some senses and people changing and trans or rabbits changing and transforming but it's of course allegorical and it's fantastic so love this book um, also on the fiction front um, this is till we have faces by c.s lewis it's my favorite sort of work of fiction by lewis it's lesser known as a retelling of the myth of cupid and psyche and every time i read it i think oh now I understand what this book is about, and, and I've read it about five times, and every time I have that, that experience, it is, it is very rich, and there's a lot going on um, in it, and it's, um, I love this. It's fantastic. Um, of course, as sort of, this is one volume of The Lord of the Rings, an illustrated uh, version, um, which is actually kind of hard to read because it's illustrated, but that's beside the point. Fantastic. The whole, um, uh, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings are always a great read for anybody. Um, the other thing I love to read uh, frequently is uh, fairy tales, and this is Grimm's Fairy Tales, one of the volumes that I have. And what is interesting about fairy tales, particularly fairy, fairy tales in the uh, Western European tradition, is they are completely informed by the gospel. Because the, 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 here's the path of a fairy tale. Things start out good, then something goes bad. There's some cur witch that comes in and brings a curse, and then somebody comes in, Prince Charming or whoever, from the outside, rescues and they live happily ever after which is the flow of the bible so you'll find that in, in fairy tales all the time it's fantastic um, uh, that's uh, all i have really kind of on some fiction that i'd like to recommend there's some other things i love to recommend um, that are sort of more uh, from different perspectives uh, uh, this is a really interesting book if you're interested in, in, in organizations and leadership and uh, leading teams. This is, might be good for clergy or anybody who's actually a team leader. Um, this guy, Patrick Lencioni, writes some great stuff. And it's, this, it's, a book, it's a business book, but it's actually written in a narrative format. And it's a fantastic thing that it understands you know, what actually scuttles teams when they're sort of dysfunctional. It's really, really good. Love that. Um, this book, Canoeing the Mountains, is uh, really for sort of church leadership in the 21st century. Uh, the whole sort of thing is going across America. Uh, initially, like Lewis and Clark, they thought there was a canoe path all the way across. Clearly, there was not. They came to the mountains and realized, oh, the canoes don't work anymore. That might be your experience of the church right now. What we've always been doing doesn't work anymore. That's what this book is about. It's really, really interesting. Um, uh, something that's a little bit sort of uh, kind of uh, deeper on a kind of sort of a theological level is Joseph Pieper on faith, hope, and love. I particularly love his essay on love. Um, Pieper is not easy to read, and he's even he's trying to popularize uh, St. Thomas Aquinas, and uh, somebody needs to then popularize Pieper. So, but so it's not an easy read. But I love um, the stuff that Pieper says about faith, hope, and love, and that's really a, sort of a good one. Another one which I don't have here with me. Um, but uh, G.K. Chesterton's book, Orthodoxy, is um, fantastic about sort of understanding him discovering Orthodox Christian faith when he was looking for something else. It's uh, really brilliant and it's also hysterically funny because that's what uh, Chesterton is like. Um, one other thing that I can sort of recommend to you is this Ruth Haley Barton. This is kind of a more sort of contemplative book about reading about your leadership and um, there's, there's a, there are chapters and a reflection uh, questions at the end of each chapter that can really, I, I used this for a silent retreat once that I spent uh, a week in a silent retreat and just worked through this book and it was really, really, um, really, really good. So those are some, a list of some of the books that I, that I read. The last thing I will say just about books in general, um, I started with uh, a number of books that were fiction and novels and things like that. And I really do think it's important for us to read novels. Sometimes it was, we, we want to read sort of self-improvement books or books on theology or, you know, th that are really worthwhile books that are kind of, you know, make 
uh, a difference or help us sort of think in a different way. I really do think story and narrative is really, really important. And often we learn things in, in story and narrative that are also true and helpful. And sometimes it's just good to read a book that is entertaining um, and reasonably well written. And one other thing that I would suggest on that same front is Dorothy Sayers uh, mystery novels that feature Lord Peter Whimsey as her sleuth. They're really well written, quite humorously written in, in some ways, um, but great sort of murder mysteries uh, from sort of the great classic mid-century of last century, um, um, Agatha Christie sort of period and all that kind of stuff. So those are some books that you might enjoy this summer. And I hope you have happy reading.